benefits that people are looking for mm -hmm. are very self-referential. Mm -hmm. People come to drink ayahuasca because they want to be healed of their wounds. Um, they want an epiphany. They want a transformative experience. They want to become a healer themselves. They, they, they want to become different than they were. They, they want to be transformed by ayahuasca into somebody else. Um, and that has not been the purpose of ayahuasca. Um, prior to 1993, um, and I can give you an exact reason why I say 1993, as a general rule, ayahuasca was not used to cure anything. Ayahuasca was a source of information. If you were a shaman, for example, ayahuasca could teach you um, where the darts were located in the body of a person who had been stricken with pathogenic projectiles. They might appear as glowing dots. They would show the shaman uh, where to suck out these pathogenic projectiles, these darts, these uh, piranha teeth, these razor blades and rusty scissors that had been projected into the body of the suffering patient. Um, it would allow the shaman to know things that other people didn't know, where you could get game, where lost objects were located, how a distant relative was doing. And in the mestizo tradition, people would drink ayahuasca for exactly that purpose. Um, you would drink ayahuasca to find out who your spouse was sleeping with, who had cast a curse on your business so that you were losing money, um, where a lost object was, or how your cousin who had gone off to Iquitos was doing because you hadn't heard from him in a long time. Um, and for the shaman, what ayahuasca would do is to tell the shaman what the disease was, what ikaros, what songs to sing, what plant spirits to use, and what medicines to make in order to cure this disease. Um, and to give the shaman um, information about who had sent this disease, and what breach of right relationship, what, what rending of the social fabric was the ultimate cause of this disease. Because every disease in mestizo shamanism. Every disease throughout the entire upper Amazon, I would say, is the result of a failure of social relationships. Somebody has been angry or resentful or envious enough to hire somebody to project darts or any kind of projectile into the body of the patient that the shaman then needs to suck at. Um, and the healing plants are the plants that are prescribed medicinally. Ayahuasca was not used to heal anything except secondarily. For example, I think my wife is having an affair. She's been distant and uh, we haven't been relating very well. And I come to you and I say, help me with this. So you and I, you shaman and, and patient, we drink ayahuasca together. And we, we both see what is going on. I might see my wife with another person, and you might see it too. And you would say to me, don't worry. I can see that that person is not having a sexual relationship with your wife. She's coming to him because she's worried about money or something. Um, in that sense, information can be healing. In that sense, if I learn from ayahuasca that the reason I am attacked by darts is because I have broken the bonds of confianza, of mutuality and generosity with somebody else in the community, that can be healing because that can be healed. But directly in the way that gringos think that ayahuasca is healing, that it cures cancer or it cures eczema. I even had somebody say ayahuasca cured his athlete's foot. In that sense, ayahuasca, up until 1993, uh, was not a healing plant. 